Hey, welcome back to Legend Skateboarding, everyone. And for today's video, I'm gonna tell you what you should be looking out for when you start skateboarding and what you should get ready for when you start skateboarding. Subscribe if you like the video and like if you like the video. And yeah, let's get straight into it. When you start skateboarding, you're gonna have to spend money. It's kind of a lot of money. A usual board is like 100 to 100, like $80. That's like a full board with everything on it. But a deck is like around 30 to 70 dollars, so it depends on what you get. But you should get ready to spend money on your board if you want a good board. If you want a bad board, go get one from like Target for 15 bucks. Because your deck breaks, so you're gonna have to get a new deck. You gotta remember your shoes break too. Your shoes break and you gotta new, get new shoes. You gotta, you gotta get ready to spend money on skateboarding and get ready to break things, rip things, mess things up, and having to buy new stuff. And it's not that cheap but it's totally worth it. The more expensive it is, most of the time, the longer it lasts. So keep that in mind. Okay, it is currently raining, if you like to see. Ryan Little. <laughs> Second thing you're going to experience while you go into skateboarding, any physical sport that you do, you're gonna get this. Any guesses, anybody? Any guesses of what's gonna happen if you do any physical sport? If you said injured, then you are right. You're gonna get injured. It depends how you challenge yourself in skateboarding. So you should get ready for that. It could be something really small to something really big. Skateboarding is on concrete like all the time. So you should get ready to get bruised up a little. You're gonna get like your elbows bloody and stuff like that. If you wanna wear headgear or arm gear or whatever, do that do what makes you feel comfortable, but you should get ready, get a little bit injured. Third thing that's gonna happen in skateboarding is you're gonna be scared, like a lot. You're gonna have fear of something. I have fear of rails. I can't do rails. I'm trying to get into it, but I just, I'm just like kind of scared of rails. If you're not scared of something, then you're probably not pushing yourself hard enough. But what you have to do with those fears is challenge those fears. You have to, like right now, I'm going on a rail just a little bit, not too much. I'm not like doing crazy stuff. I'm not just letting it be my fear and like looking at a rail. Like, oh my God, it's a rail. Like tell yourself that you are good enough to do this. It's the scary things that make tricks cool. It's the overcoming the fear that makes you progress. Another thing you're gonna experience while skateboarding is getting frustrated a lot. You're gonna get really frustrated a lot and you're gonna be like, why can't I land this or why can't I do this? You cannot give up. Uh, most of the time in skateboarding, it's all in your head. You think it's really hard to do, but once you land it, boom, it's like, that was so easy. Why didn't I land it before? And then you get it afterwards. You cannot let that frustration get to you. It's usually after you say, I I'm giving up or, I'm not gonna be able to do it. If you give it two more tries, you're probably gonna land it in those two more tries. Beginners have the most frustration because you see all these people that are really good and then you're like, why well, I'm, I'm not good? Like I felt that a bunch of times too, but you have to not give up. And you have to remember, everybody started at what you're starting right now. You just have to not give up, give it two more tries and then you probably land it. Okay, this is the last thing that skaters are gonna deal with in the real world. It's gonna be 
the haters out there. There's gonna be some people that just don't like skateboarders or skaters at all and just want you off their property or just want you out. Like some cops are really nice, they like let you stay, but some cops they do not let you stay, they want you out right away. California's really chill with skaters, they like skaters, but there are some people that just don't like skaters because you see the world differently than other people. A curb is something you can all eat something you can grind something you can manual on but people just see it as a curve cars and people can be on different sides and they just don't understand why you have to skate why do you want to skate this just go skate somewhere else in a skate park you have to be ready for people to not let you skate there you can't get mad about that either you just have to either go it's better for you to go find another spot you're gonna have to get get ready with that that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed if you did smash that like button subscribe if you want to Boop. subscribe hit that notification bell and comment what you did or didn't like and i love the comments by the way make sure you go grab that merch link in bio down there now i'm gonna get some skating clips and i hope you enjoy Ryan Little. <laughs>